prize fighting, MMA style fighting, is something that is banned by the Criminal Code of Canada. In Ontario, the way the province has decided since last July to implement that ban is to force everybody who does any kind of combat sport to go get a sanction from one of their provincially recognized sports organizations. In our case, we had two choices. We had the very traditional Japanese-only Olympic-style karate or to go with Kickboxing Ontario, which is culturally quite different than what we do. They do really kickboxing. In sport karate, you'll see that we don't kick to the back, you won't see any of that. It's very light contact. You'll see it's almost like a game of tag. The, ish, the idea is to be the first one to get there and touch, and that gets you a point. And in a real fight, every time there is a point, the refs will immediately stop the fight. They'll say stop, reset, start again. In Olympic karate, you'll notice a few differences. For instance, our hands, our hand pads, you see our thumbs are sticking out. This, we find, is a little bit of an issue because you can sometimes get a thumb in the eye of your opponent, accidentally or otherwise, but we don't like that. You also notice I'm not wearing a helmet. We prefer to have a helmet on. You'll notice kicks to the back are allowed, grabs are allowed, so they're allowed to grab their opponents, and they're allowed to sweep them with both feet and throw them on the ground. This is not something we do. We're wearing heavier gloves because we're hitting harder. Now we don't do kickboxing here as much, so what you'll see, he'll hit me harder, but not as hard as he would in a kickboxing ring because he likes me. The fight does not stop. It's punch after punch after kick after punch after kick, and it just keeps going like this for two minutes. It's a bit more like boxing than point sparring the way you've just seen us demonstrate. The issue for clubs like ours, where we have mostly children doing competition, is that they are neither doing the Olympic style karate nor the kickboxing. And if we don't get a sanction from one of those organizations and we hold a tournament anyway, like we've been doing for decades very safely, this is against the criminal code. We can have the police come and arrest us. We want to be considered our own sports. And we don't want to have to seek sanction from bodies that are either charging us a lot of money which we can't afford or insisting that we go along with their style that we don't find really work for us. We want to be allowed to continue having tournaments according to our rules. Safety, always safety first. But style, we want to be able to have our own style.